Oh yeah, I've done uh, obscure educational games before, like Paint Spa. That's not really a game. It's more like a paint package, like on the RM Nimbus PC one eight six. I think the RM Nimbus PC one eight six range was UK only, or it was like sort of like in Europe more. Uh, this is uh, a very early memory that I had of a game that I used to play at school. Uh, as you can see, we've got a BBC Micro Model B prompt on screen at the moment, but I, f I believe this was actually running an RM Nimbus PC186 uh, running in BEEB mode, because those computers could emulate uh, BBC Basic mode, but only Basic, not the uh, machine card routines. But yeah, this is, I think, this is uh, was a, originally a BBC Micro Model B game, now, you might remember this if you're in the UK, or you might not. I, I, I've spent the last two decades trying to find this piece of software, and I finally found it. So, uh, this is Treasure Hunt. Not the Treasure Hunt you're probably thinking of for the BBC Micro, but a different version. So, do you, want, do you remember the Red Castle video I posted a while back? I kind of wanted your help to find it. I will uh, segment that into the video on there. Hello guys, this is Paul Elizabeth for UK. Now what you see before you is a very crude drawing I did in paint. Now the basic thing about it is what it is, is this is a memory I've got of a game that used to be on a school computer, but I can't think of the game. I don't know if it looks familiar to you, but I couldn't find it on Google Images and I don't even know what the game's called. I think it was called Treasure Hunt or something like that, but I don't know what it was called. It was uh, basically, I think it was on this computer using a BBC emulator layout for the RM Nimbus. Um, or was, but that's the remember I've got, but this was a long time ago. It could have been on the BBC Model B, but I don't think our school had BBC Model Bs at the time. So yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what th this game is. Does it, does it seem familiar to any of you guys? Um, you could go left, right, or up as the arrow suggests. The, the castle at this point is in the distance. It could have been on the BBC Model B, but it probably was on the BBC Model B, but I seem to remember it at school on one of these. So it was probably using the BBC. And uh, yeah, I finally found it. So at this point you can see we've got a menu. This is part of a multi load game. I didn't realize it was part of a multi load disc yet, to be honest. Uh, MEP Infant for Schools 1. Uh, I think I wouldn't have seen this back in the day because I was only young. I was only like five, six, or seven years old. But yeah, it was part of a more loud disc. This is a BBC Model B version, so I don't know if it was reauthored for the uh, RM PC one eight six or RM Nimbus PC one eight six. But let's go for the main event anyway. We're going for Treasure Hunt. So do you remember this? This is developed at Newman College in 1984, so if you was part of Newman College. So the first thing you're going to see on this game is two objects that you can take with you. You've got your torch, your spade, your rope, your axe, your jam, and your dagger. So you got you only can take two of them. So you've got to use the first letter of each uh, uh, object to take with you. So it's going to be jam because I know for a fact you can swap, you can trade the jam for a key. So I'm going to go for jam. I don't know what else to take because I haven't really played this since 1984. Well, probably a bit later than that for me because I, I think it was like late 80s when I played this back in primary school. But I'm going to go for the spade. So, yeah. Now, do you remember this? Do you remember the red castle in the background? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Treasure Hunt on the BBC Micro Model B, BBC Master, or the RM Nimbus PC 186s, which I presume it's on. And uh, yeah, you've got your woodlands on the left, you've got your cave on the right, and you've got the castle in the background. Now, I'm pretty sure the older viewers, like people who are 30 years plus, are going to remember this, or they might do in the UK at least. So what you have to do is use left, up, and right on the on the keyboard to uh, go whichever direction you want. So I'm going to go to the left into the woodland. You can see like sort of changes the more perspective of it and you see the flowers in the background there. You see the red castle still prominent in the background. If you go up now you can walk towards the house. Now you will notice that there's this that is supposed to be a bird flying past perhaps I'm guessing or maybe the clouds. 
and you got that P, that means you can like interact. So if you press the P button on the keyboard, see your P is in there, but then it disappears. So that means that's some sort of interactive thing. Bear in mind this game is designed for people under 10 years old. So it, it's like sort of a learning adventure and stuff. So if you go up into that, uh, that, that house, uh, as you can see, we've got, now we've got the up and the right arrow. So the right arrow is, I think the right arrow when it's diagonal like that, I think it always means exit. And uh, you see the castle, the red castle is still prominent in the background and you've got your key on the table. So if you press the P, now you've got a side quest. Well, like a sort of prompt from this guy here, like sort of interactivity. I will give you this key for your jam. Well, because I chose jam at the beginning, I can do that. So, yes. And now we've, we've traded our key for the jam. Now you have to bear in mind, this is 1984. This is on school computers. I think what, what the idea is that you play for the game, you haven't got the jam, you play it again, you learn that you, you need to get the jam the second time around and then you get the jam. So, yep, let's go back out of here. Now you can see there's that red castle again, but you can see the uh, house in the background. So if I go left again, there's a house in the background. If I go right, there's the castle. If I go back, we can go back to the uh, cave. It is very dark. Will you give me your spade for a torch? I'm not sure. I can't remember if I've got a spade. Yes, okay, so you can see just about in the distance that there's a red castle on the right, just assumed by a dot. And uh, a left uh, on the left, it might be the, the shop again. So let's go for the right. And you can see, yeah, we've got the uh, bats in the cave. We've got the castle in the background. I am so pleased. I'm actually ecstatic that I've found this piece of software again because I've been looking for this for a very long time. So shall we go into the castle? We must. Let me know in the comments if you remember this because this is very, uh, very vague for me. So you can see the spider there going up and down. It's only an asterisk. It's just an asterisk. But I seem to remember back in the day that was so much cooler. So you can press left for the treasure chest, up for the wardrobe or right for the door. So let's go for right for the door. The hidden treasure you have not found. So I'll fly home safe and sound. Goodbye. So let me know in the comments what do you think of this? Do you remember this? I'm going to choose the uh, spade this time and the dagger, I think. So it's quite well thought out, this game is. It's quite... Uh, what you choose is what, what aims the game to be. It's, it's quite well, well made for 1984. So let's go in the castle again. Let's try the treasure chest this time. Watch out for that asterisk spider. Oh, I need a key. Oh, shit. And now I need a jam for that, don't I? Will you take this coin? It is free. And then come back to the start with me. Right, okay. So we can't trade the uh, key jam in for the key because I don't think we've got ac actually got the jam. But you haven't any. Okay, so... So we can't do it that way. Let's come back over to the cave. Will you give me... Your dagger for a torch. No. Okay, so if you press now, it sort of ends that sequence. So it's got a lot of Granny's Garden vibes to it. So yes. And I'm going to go right this time. And then right again. So we're just back basically out of the cave again. So, so yeah, that, I thought you might like to see that. If you remember it, let me know in the comments. I remember vividly. I never thought I'd see this piece of software again. But yet, yeah, this is Treasure Hunt, the uh, the uh, BBC Micro B. There's loads of different games called Treasure Hunt on the BBC Micro B, but this is the one I remember, uh, like from the uh, school days and like the RM Nimbus PC 186 days. So, yes, let me know in the comments what you think of this one, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye! And watch out for that spider.